Solve the system using the elimination method. Check the answer. Now, actually, if I was given this system, I would probably use a substitution. Uh, noticing that we already have in the second equation y equals negative x minus 5, I would it's very easy to then use the substitution method. But we were asked to use the elimination method, so let's do that. Uh, what we often want to do first is write both equations in the same form. So what I'm going to do is, uh, since that first equation is already in the standard form, I'll write the second equation in the standard form by adding x to both sides. So then that yields negative 7x plus 3y is equal to 15 and x plus y is equal to negative 5. And now I focus in on one of the variables and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the y's in this case and the previous exercises I focused on x. In this example I'll focus on the y's and so if I sort of think ahead I have a 3y and I want to say to myself, what would I want? What do I want this coefficient to be? So I get an elimination, and I say, well, three plus negative three is zero, and so that tells me that I should multiply the entire second equation, both sides, by negative three. And so then that yields negative seven x plus three y is equal to fifteen. And the second equation would be negative 3x minus 3y is positive 15. And now again, notice that my coefficients on y are opposites. And so when I add these equations together, I will get an elimination on y yielding negative 10x equals 30. Dividing through by negative 10, I find that x is negative 3. Substituting into the simpler equation, again I'm going to go back to the original form here, y equals negative x minus 5, so y would equal the opposite of negative 3 minus 5, so y would equal 3 minus 5, which is negative 2. So I'm hoping then that the solution is negative 3, negative 2. Let's check that. The first equation, negative 7x plus 3y is 15. Let's check that. Uh, 21 plus negative 6, is that equal to 15? That works. And the second equation, negative 2y is equal to negative x, so ne the opposite of negative 3 minus 5, and actually we just did that arithmetic. Negative 2 is equal to 3 minus 5, and that checks out as well. So the solution is negative 3, negative 2.